I did some bad stuff. Did some bad stuff. I did some bad stuff again. So as you can tell from this large box sitting in front of my face, I uh, did order some more makeup from Ulta. It is raining so hard right now, holy cow. Okay, sorry. Anyway, so I ordered a bunch of makeup from Ulta. I, I was doing so well for so long, not putting in orders, not spending money that I should not be spending and should be saving for the house, but I, yeah. Here we are still social distancing. And uh, at this point, I just, I need something to provide me the serotonin that I am lacking. So just a rundown of what we've currently bought. This is not everything that is shown here. We've got lots more coming, but we did uh, we did put in three total Ulta orders. This is two of them. I did sign up for a new year long subscription service. Uh, that will be coming shortly. I will be getting the Maybox. I'm really excited to do that. We did pick up the new Lady Gaga palette, which I am so excited for. And then I got an order from Cure as well. I did consider getting the Jeffree Star palette, the cremated palette. We had it in our cart and then I realized I was gonna have to pay $10 for shipping and I went, mm. And then I was like, well, we have to spend 125 to get free shipping and I will literally do that instead of uh, paying $10 for shipping. But at that point, everything was sold out by the time I added stuff to the cart. And I was like, I really don't care anyway, so. Here we are. So let's stop talking about other random stuff and let's start talking about what I got in these two orders. Now I ordered these on the exact same day. I did separate that into two orders because they were doing free gifts. I had about $150 worth of stuff in my cart. $80 got you a free gift. So I separated it into two, added a couple extra things, spent about $80 roughly on each order and wound up getting two free gifts, one of each variety, which is a strategy that I've used pretty frequently if you've watched this channel in the past. Um, I did also use some gift cards I got at, at Christmas time. So I wound up spending about $104 out of pocket for everything that I got here, which I thought was a really great deal. A lot of the things were on sale. I did have a 20% off coupon that I could use for both of the orders. And then I got the free gifts as well. So let's talk about that. I did not bring my phone, which is stupid because that has my list of uh, what they, the sale price was. Will you go grab that for me? Yeah. Uh, let's move the box to the ground now. And I will start with items that I know the price of while Nikki's grabbing my phone before I pull it up. So the first thing that we got, and I don't, I'm gonna go ahead and say, I don't know what's going on with Flesh and Ulta. I don't know if Ulta is discontinuing Flesh, if they're just on sale now, what's happening, but they are on like, fire sale. I mean like 75% off, like they are a fourth of the price that they used to be. So I did pick up quite a few things from Flesh, four foundations and two eyeshadow palettes. Now these are the two eyeshadow palettes. I do like to start with those kind of things first because it, it definitely makes it, I think a little bit more exciting because I just love eyeshadow palettes a, a bunch. But both of these I think retailed for like 40-ish dollars normally, like maybe 39. And I picked them up for 9.50. So we have the, oh, this is the Starshine, but I don't know if this other one has a name or not. Okay, so this one is the Starshine palette. First of all, I was not expecting them to be as big as they are. They are nine pan colors or nine colored pans, whatever. They do have a nice big mirror, but this one is a purple based one with a lot of really like just beautiful glitter accents and stuff like that. And once again, he was 950. He is still available as we are filming this. Um, it is about a week after I ordered it. Cause I think I ordered it Saturday. Um, and then this one, I cannot find the name to save my life, but it's the only other flesh palette I saw on sale at Ulta. And it is a more neutral based uh, palette, but it does have this really pretty pink accent. So I'm really excited to, I think tomorrow, tomorrow is Saturday. So we have a little bit of extra time to film. I think we're gonna do like a flesh highlight and use the palettes and um, the foundations that I picked up from them. So once again, I paid for a total of 18 colors, eight, about $18, it would be 19 because it was 9.50 a piece. So that's a dollar and some change a color, which I think is a great deal. So I was very excited to pick those up. Okay, so the next thing that we got, I picked up four of these. They are the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundations. Personally, one of my favorite powder foundations, if you guys have seen me, talk about the way I do my foundation in the past. I actually do a liquid foundation normally, and then I like to do a powder foundation rather than a setting powder on top of it, just because I find in some places, uh, for whatever reason, doesn't matter like what the primer is that I use normally, doesn't really matter what the foundation is. Some of them work a little bit better, but not always. And I, I am very bad about not consistently using the same foundation, so I will struggle with sometimes 
with that, but I'll get patchy areas. But if I do a powder foundation on top of it rather than a setting powder, it really goes in there and kind of makes it more seamless. So I really am a huge fan of that. Um, I will use setting powders, I just don't normally. Uh, but these were, <laughs> They are the ivory shade, which personally I like because ivory is, is slightly sh uh, lighter shade than what I actually need. With that, it um, gives a little bit of brightness because I do use so many different foundations. Sometimes they're a little bit darker than what my skin tone is. So it does kind of go in there and lighten up my, my skin tone to make it more match. And uh, for whatever reason, all of the other ones for the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundations were full price. However, the Ivory was 285, so I don't know if they're discontinuing it or what, but I picked up four of them and they were like $12 for four of them. So I thought that was eight, an absolutely great deal, which is why I got four and then I kicked myself for not getting more than just four because that's how I buy. It's like one of those like crazy, like, well, it's on sale, so I should get like 20 of them. And I, it's, it's not healthy, but it just is like, for whatever reason, what I do. Okay, so the next thing, I pulled out a couple items. So the next thing that I got, I did pick up this. It is the Ulta Beauty Angled Brow and Spoolie Eyeshadow, or Eyeshadow Eyebrow Brush. It was $4.99, which is why I got it. It wasn't on sale, it was just that's full price. I think I'm not gonna like it if I'm being a thousand percent honest. I bought it because I had a, a benefit one that I loved forever. It got used so much that the bristles started falling out. So I finally had to throw it away and I looked to see if benefit had any kits or had anything on sale and they just didn't. And I really didn't want to spend $25 on a brush. I was like, screw it. I'm going to spend $5 and see if I can use this one. Hopefully I, I'm not really doing what I used to do with my eyebrows where I would take like pomades and like fully shave them. Now I really use like pencils and, and things like that. So this would be more just like a, like a, useful for powder filling like into patchy areas so i'm hoping that i can make it work but if not i might have wasted five dollars on it to be honest it does not look great um the bristles look very shabby like they're all like if you guys know what i'm saying when you're looking at brushes like sometimes like when you get a new brush it should be kind of like all in line but these are kind of like sticking out like hey that's kind of what it looks like it's my own fault for trying it if it sucks so i'm not really mad about it it was five dollars but i did want to see if i could make this one work a lot of backstory for a product that was kind of just like a, oh i gotta meet a sales price so let's let's throw it in the cart but whatever anyway moving along so the next thing i got i did get this uh, CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation. I, if you've heard me talk about it from our past hauls, I have just been looking for cheaper foundations uh, that I can use during quarantine or social distancing or whatever. I, I know regulations are starting to lift. I personally am not comfortable leaving the house. We won't be going to restaurants. We won't be doing that. I'm going to work and then I'm coming home. We're just kind of, you know, doing that. Uh, everybody's different. I completely understand, but that's just how I personally feel about it. So I, um, I do want to have some nice foundations that work decently, but that are still uh, in the cheaper range. Uh, so that way I can use them at home and not feel bad for wasting my $40 or $30 foundations while I'm just sitting at home and filming like one video to two videos a day. And that's all I'm doing. So, um, cause I, I am going to work, but I work in the middle of the night. So it's not like anybody sees me. So, uh, that being said, I did pick this one up cause I was trying to meet a sales quota. Once again, it was on sale for $8 and I was like, screw it. I'll throw it in the cart so I can get my free gift. And, uh, yeah, I've not used this one. I've not really heard anything about it. It had decent reviews. So I was like, whatever, I'll try one of them. But I, you guys, if you guys know me, then, you know, I normally buy foundations in two and I did only buy one of those. So that really was just like, a, I just have to meet that price. The next thing I picked up is I'm a, I love the TikToks. I'm not gonna lie. I love it. I love TikTok. It's great. Nikki loves TikTok. We watch TikTok way too much. Uh, they're amazing. They're hysterical. People are great. I love it. But I've seen a lot of them where they recommend like low price, high quality makeup products. And so I was like, all right, well, let's check some of them out. So one of the ones that I consistently see videos about is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation. I picked up two of them because they were currently on sale. I think they're normally like 12 or $14. I can't remember which one, but they were on sale two for 20. So I got two at $10 a piece. I was like, that's a good, nice, affordable foundation. Let's try it, see if it's as great as, as everybody says it is. So I did pick up two of those. Um, if you guys will notice, I, a lot of my last haul was foundations. A lot of this one is also foundations. I just get in these moods where I'm like, I really wanna look for concealers. Or I really wanna look for foundations or I don't know why I do it, but I, it, it's what happens. So that's what happens with this. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry I'm like this. I just, I'm trying to fix myself, but not hard enough to actually actively do anything to fix myself. So that, that's where we're at. I ran out of cotton pads, so I bought two of them so I wouldn't run out anytime soon. They were $2.99 a piece because they're old brand. So I was like, 
that's what you put in the cart. I also got this Thayer's Natural Remedies Astringent. It is a witch hazel based formula with aloe vera in it to keep your skin nice and, and soothed. I like witch hazel. My mom swears by it. I bruise so easily and I always have like these random bruises and she's like, put witch hazel on it, put sweet. And I, and I don't do it cause I just, it's not worth it to me to like fight to get rid of a bruise that I know is probably going to reappear in a different location somewhere else. It, it is what it is. It's just who I am, a bruised person. It, it's very metaphorical for my insides as well. So uh, anyway, I did want to try the astringent though. I've been using just a clean and clear one that I've had forever and I finally ran out of it. And I was like, let's see what Ulta has. Ulta didn't carry the one that I had been using, which I liked fine. But I was like, you know what? This one seems like it would probably do very well. And because it is a more naturally based astringent, I thought it would not react poorly with my skin. Hopefully I'm correct. Um, and it was $9.99. So, and I did pay full price for it, but I was like, you know what, $10. The last one I had lasted me for like three years. So I think that'll be fine. Going back to the TikTok thing. This was another TikTok recommended product. This is the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer. Everybody swears that this is an exact dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape. I love Tarte Shape Tape. I don't know many people in the beauty community that don't think Tarte Shape Tape has a high standing place in the concealer game because it, it really is just a very workable, seemingly well-rounded concealer that works for many skin tones and many uh, skin consistencies, whether you're oily or, or dry or whatever. It, it always seems to give you just a very nice full coverage. So everybody says that this is a very affordable dupe for it. I believe I got, they were on sale. I think I paid about $15 a piece where my phone crashed again. So I'm not gonna try and find it, but I believe I paid $15 for each one of them. So that would be like $7.50 a piece, which I, if you guys know, Tarte Shape Tape is $27 normal. So good, good, nice uh, savings there. $20 in savings for one product is, is substantial in my opinion. So we're gonna test these out and see if they are as good as people are claiming they are. And I'm really excited to do that. Let's talk about this product that's coming up here. I paid $2.78 for this guy. I remember because I was like, oh, I can't not get him. I think it's going to be an absolute waste of $3 if I'm being 100% honest, but I think it's going to make for a very interesting experiment. And that is why I decided to get it. I have seen people talk about these. I have seen people buy these. I need to know for myself. I am a fan of deductive research and uh, I, I'm not a science person, but you know what? I can experiment with certain things and this is something that I can experiment with, which is the Ulta Beauty eyeshadow stamp. So if you guys have seen anybody else talk about these, basically they're like a little silicone stamp with uh, not much else going on. And the idea is you, uh, you put your eyeshadow on it and then you stamp it onto your eye and it gives you perfectly even eyeshadow. Great concept. Do I think it is going to execute as well as it should? I do not, but we will see. I will for certain record it. It reminds me a lot of the eyeliner stamp set that I picked up a while ago. We did a video on that like months ago. Um, and that one actually was better than I thought it was gonna be. And I now I remember I should pull that out and use that because I've been trying to do more winged eyeliner. But uh, but yeah, so that one that one was better than I expected, and this one was much cheaper. So I mean, even if it sucks, like three bucks is worth it to to me because if it does work well, then it could be a complete game changer. I just don't think it's going to because I'm generally more of like a we'll call it a a realist or a a speculator speculate. I, I speculate on things. Is that what speculator? Is that, is that, is that the word? Okay. Good face. Yeah. Good job. Well, jumping, 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 jumping into the last little bit of what we picked up in this very large haul. Um, which as you guys can see, I mean, like I said, out of pocket, I paid a hundred dollars. I did have gift cards. It was like 170 is what I'd probably say after tax. I've got a lot of stuff here on the table. So I, I feel like I got good deals for everything, but anyway, I digress. Uh, the last little part of what we picked up, I got a bunch more foundations. I told you guys, I don't know why. I think in this haul alone, I got, oh yikes. I got nine foundations, not including the powder ones. So including the powder ones, I got 13 foundations plus two concealer. Oh, that's bad. Oh God, I have such a problem. Okay, anyway, I did get four of the flesh pure flesh foundations. I got them in two different shades because the shade that I think I actually need was sold out. So I got the meringue and I got the birthday cake. 
Birthday cake is slightly darker. Meringue is slightly lighter. So this is birthday cake and this is meringue. Birthday cake is a slightly darker than what I need shade with a pink undertone and uh, which is what I have this is a pink undertone because I have a touch of birthday. It's just my, my skin's always a little bit pink. And then this is uh, slightly lighter than what I need with a yellow undertone. So I'm hoping that they can like, mix together and I can like witchcraft it up to make it work for me. I, I am, I'm pretty good at that. I normally will buy whatever is on sale. It's who I am. Uh, sorry, I, I will apologize, but not, not enough to really be sorry. So anyway, I did get these. Once again, I don't know what's going on with Flesh and Ulta, but there was a fire sale. These were normally $32 foundations in great feeling in terms of texture of the packaging and everything. I did swatch the one, one arrived today. I did it on the back of my hand. It is still there and it, it looks pretty good. This is the darker shade and it looks honestly great in my opinion. I, I think it looks absolutely fabulous. So I'm pretty excited about that. But, uh, I digress. These were normally $32 foundations. I had my color in my cart for a long time and it was on sale for 16, which is 50% off. That's great. For expensive foundations, if it's 50% off, I'm like, hell yeah, I will buy it. It then sold out in my shade, but they dropped the price to $8 a bottle of foundation. So I said, screw it. I will buy two and two of the different shades that are on the opposite ends of my shade that ran out and we'll hope for the best because $8 for a name brand foundation is an incredible price. I mean, this was the cheapest foundation uh, that I got of the cheap foundations and it was 837. So these were cheaper than that, which now that I'm thinking about what the hell did I just get an extra one of these, whatever I keep, I just had a brain smart. But anyway, I'm really excited to try those out. These, those will definitely be featured in the flesh video when we, I use the foundation or the um, palettes because I wanna see how the foundation works as well. So I, I figured it's just easier to test out the whole brand and all the new stuff I got from that. The final foundations that I got were the Stila Hide and Chic Fluid Foundation in the shade Light 3. I like Stila a lot. Uh, I did pick up some like foundation concealer duo sets a while ago and I wasn't thrilled with them. But then when I went back and used them, I actually like them a lot more. So I'm hoping these are gonna be really good. They had decent reviews and they were also 50% off. So it wound up being 19.50 a piece for them. And I was like, well, whatever, I'll get a couple nice foundations because uh, I, I probably won't use them right now if I'm being 100% honest, I'll save them for when we start going out into the public again. But uh, I did want to just try them and, and pick them up. And like I said, 50% off. I always, I normally jump at that if I, if I know the brand and I am wanting to try it. So, uh, the final thing we'll talk about, I'm not gonna unbox them for you guys because they're a lot and we've already stopped the camera three times, which means this is like well into 30 minutes of filming. But I did get two 23 piece free gifts, which is the incentive for me to buy because this stuff is in my cart for a hot minute before I decided like, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and, and pull the trigger. One is a pink bag and one is a yellow bag. They had a bunch of different products in it. And I'm not gonna say, I don't know what's in them. Obviously I haven't opened them yet. So I'll open them up and I'll explore later. But I will say it, it has inspired me. I have so many samples because that is one of the big things for me is like, if, you, if you're like, hey, you gotta spend $150, but you'll get this free gift and it comes with a bag and a bunch of samples. I'll be like, hell yeah, I will spend $150 that I wasn't gonna spend. Once again, one of those character flaws that I just, it is what it is. I have a lot of sample side stuff and I think it would be really cool to do like a, oh, let's do a full face of sample sized products. So I talked to Nikki about it today. I think I have enough to execute it. I, if I don't, then I don't know why, but um, I think that's something that may be coming up and I'm sure those will probably get highlighted in that. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was a lot of talking, a lot of rambling and explaining. Sorry about that. I'm sure Nikki's good at, he's good about cutting that kind of random stuff out. So hopefully he's, he's uh, he can he can handle it. We have a lot of hauls coming. I'm really excited to test some of the stuff out on camera. I know I wanna do a video where I show you guys the concealers and the foundations that TikTok recommended because I think that'd be a fun one to do. Um, obviously I talked about the flesh one. Obviously we talked about the stamp because the stamp, oh, let's see how that works. Uh, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, then please give it a thumbs up. It helps our channel out a, a absolute ton. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, then please consider doing so because we would love for you to be part of the Dark Angel family. Other than that, I hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy and you have a wonderful day and stay girly with a dark twist.